everybody, I'm Rachel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, we're gonna get our bodies moving and grooving and get the blood pumping, but it should be a nice kind of easy flow today, relaxing, um, just moving the whole body. So go ahead and make your way to your mat. We're gonna start on our backs today. So make your way down however you'd like to. And just start to relax on your mat, feeling grounded and centered. Start to bring your mind to the mat, to the present moment, trying to keep your thoughts from taking over. Just start to focus on the breath, your body, Maybe what you might hear, notice, how you're feeling this morning, or whatever time of day it is when you're practicing. And just start to connect to your body, to your mat, to your breath. Take a few big, deep inhales and exhales. Today, we're gonna to dedicate our practice to someone that needs some love. So picture that person in your head. Maybe it's someone going through a difficult time. Maybe it's someone who is struggling with health or just someone you wanna send some love to. And just picture that person in your mind. Imagine sending love to them. Maybe picture giving them a big giant hug since maybe you aren't allowed to hug them right now. And just send them all that good, positive energy, love, whatever they need. Just imagine them and send it to them. Maybe you have a couple people that you want to think about and send good vibes. So take a few moments, I'll give you some breaths here to just think about that, those people, send them your good wishes, wish them safety, good health, happiness. Just wrap them in your mind with that big giant hug Take a few more breaths here, pulling from your toes up to the top of your head, and just letting everything go. When you're ready, reach your arms up overhead for a big full body stretch. And then bring that right knee in towards your chest. Squeeze it in nice and tight. Knee comes towards your elbow. And then just gently pass it off to your left hand. Bring it across your body for a gentle twist. Right arm can extend out to a T or to goalpost arm. Maybe your gaze goes over your right shoulder. Just take a couple breaths here. Just warming up the spine. Come back through center, hug that knee in, extend it long. Left knee comes into the chest, squeeze. Pass it off to the right hand, bring it across your body, twist. Come back through center, hug those knees in. And then just roll over to your left side you can either bring your head into your hand or let your ear rest on your biceps. And just glue, imagine your feet are glued together nice and tight. And then just open up the knees, lower them back down. So we're just gonna lift and lower. 
This is great for the hips, kind of a motion we don't do too often, so it's really good for the glutes, the hips. So just open and close a few times. You can kind of give yourself a little resistance here if you'd like. We'll just do a couple more. And then bring that knee in towards your chest, squeeze it in, and then extend your leg out long. Maybe you get it straight, maybe you don't, no big deal. And just let your foot rest on the floor so the inside of your right foot is resting on the ground. Maybe it's hovering, just do whatever feels good in your body. Pull those toes back towards your body, so flexing through the foot, pushing the heel out, getting a nice stretch all up and down your leg. Go ahead, bring that knee back into your chest. Extend it long, roll onto your belly here. So hands plant next to your shoulder, lower your chin to the mat. On your next inhale, lift your chest off the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades open through the chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift back up, gazing down in front of you, extending the crown of the head forward. Exhale, lower down. This time, maybe you make it a little bigger, so lift up, maybe your arms straighten. Really melt those hips into the mat, looking forward. Exhale, lower down. One more time, lift up. Lower down. Hands come along your sides, palms face up. This time on your next inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms. Maybe your toes lift off as well. Squeeze those glutes together. Crown of the head is reaching, reaching, reaching. Fingertips reach towards your toes. One more inhale, see if you can lift a little higher. Exhale, lower down. This time roll over to, onto your right side. Bend those knees, bring them together, seal those feet together, and then open up the knees for your clamshells. Lift them, lower them. So just squeeze them open, squeeze them closed. Engaging your muscles, feeling alive, getting that blood pumping. Couple more here. And then bring that knee in towards your chest, straighten out the leg, then bring it down onto the floor, pull those toes towards your head, feeling a really good stretch through the back of your leg. Sending that breath into the back of your leg. Go ahead and bring your knees back, stack them on top of each other, roll onto your back. Feet plant firmly on the mat, hands come down at your sides, palms down. And then on your next inhale, lift your hips toward the ceiling, squeeze through the glutes. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift it up, squeeze, pressing the shins forward. If this bothers your knees at all, just widen your stance a little bit, it should help. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower down. We'll do two more. Inhale, lift, squeeze. Exhale, lower. Last one, lift. Bring it down to the mat. Hug those knees into your chest. Maybe give a little rock side to side. And then grab behind your thighs. Start to rock forward and backward, gaining some momentum. Have a little fun with this one. We're gonna come all the way up to standing. So you get there the way you wanna get there. Maybe you come all the way up. So however you wanna get there, just come up to stand. Inhale, reach high. Hands come to heart center. Maybe close your eyes for a minute. Just scan the body, see how you're feeling today. Keep that person in your mind that you're dedicating this practice to, that you're sending your love out to. Inhale, reach up high. Grab opposite elbows, so bend your elbows. Reach for opposite elbows here. And then open up the chest, look up. Shining that heart toward the sky. Feeling a nice opening in the shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed down your back. 
Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold, dive down. Inhale, lift halfway, straighten the back, through the back, crown your head, reaches forward. Kind of shift your weight into the balls of your foot. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down. Last time, lift halfway. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, fold. Reach high. Come all the way up. Grab those opposite elbows. Maybe try to switch it out this time. Feels kind of awkward, but put the opposite hand on top. Inhale, lift the chest, open up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lift you halfway. Exhale, plant hands, step it back, high plank. So a couple options here. For right now, just feel strong. Push those heels toward the back of your mat, pressing the mat away. And then option, we're gonna move into a side plank. So you can drop your right knee, kick that foot out as a kickstand, rotate around to the inside of your left foot, hand plants kind of under your nose, left arm opens up to the sky. So that one option is to have that bottom knee down. Second option is to come off the knee. So you've got a straight line, feet can be stacked, and then no matter where you're at, maybe you lift that top leg a little bit. You can reach your front, your top arm forward. Reach back up, rotate around, bring that left palm to the mat, come back to your high plank or tabletop. Left knee lowers down, that's where you're at. Plant the left hand under your nose, open up. Side plank. Again, lots of options here. You do what feels good in your body. Maybe you come into a full side plank. Maybe you lift that top leg. Reach forward. Reach back up. Hand comes down to the mat, square it off. Look back towards your belly button and then pull your hips up and back, down dog. So pedal it out, shift your hips side to side, really press into the mat with all 10 fingers. Hips reach toward the ceiling, head hangs heavy, so let all the tension out of your neck, just let it hang. Right foot steps over left, so kind of crisscross, and then sink those heels toward the mat, Feeling an extra stretch. And then switch it out. So right foot comes down, left foot crosses over, press the heels down. Coming back to that breath. Don't forget it. Feet plant, bend your knees, rise up on your toes, look forward. You can take baby steps, However you want to get to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach high. Hands come to the heart. This time, bring your feet to touch. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, as you sink your hips down, coming into your chair pose. So squeeze those legs together. Weight shifts into the heels, so if you look down, you should be able to see your toes. Sink the hips. Bring your hands to the heart. Lean forward. And then you're going to twist to the right. So you can, a lot of options here. You can bring your elbow in between your two knees. You can bring your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. You can also be in more of an upright twist with your arms reaching out. So whatever feels good for you. If you've got your hands at heart center, Press the palms together, bring your hands, they should be kind of in front of your heart. Rotate that chest up, look up, and then come back through center. Straighten the legs, reach high. Sink it back down to your chair pose. Extend the crown of your head forward, twist to the left. So same options here. 
Elbow can be in between knees, can be to the outside edge of your left leg, or you can be in that upright twist. So we're at, wherever you're at, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly button towards your spine, press those palms together, open through the chest, and then come back through center, reach up. Your legs are probably yelling at you, that's all right. Sink it back down, lean forward, and then left leg steps back, hands come down to the mat, knee comes down, untuck the toes, you might need to walk this front foot forward a little bit. So you should have about a 90 degree angle here. Lean forward. So low, low lunge. Rock the chest forward, lift it up. Exhale, straighten through that front leg, sink the hips back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, sink back. Rock it forward. Sink it down. Come back to that forward rock. Get your balance and then inhale, reach the arms high. Bring those elbows down, goal post the arms, lift through the chest, look up. Inhale, reach back up, frame your foot. Come up high on those back toes, step it forward. Right foot steps back, drop the knee, untuck the toes, lift the chest. Sink the hips back, straighten through that front leg. Rock it back forward, inhale. Exhale, sink it low. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. One more time, rock it forward. Extend that leg, sink down. Come forward, get your balance, arms reach high, low lunge. Cactus those arms, bring the elbows down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, gaze is up. Inhale, reach high, look up. Exhale, frame your foot, untuck the back toes, step it forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Just let it hang here for a minute. You can grab opposite elbows. Let gravity help you pull your head down. You can shake your head, yes. Shake your head now. And then release the elbows. Roll all the way up to standing, reach high. Bring those feet together if they're not there. Hands come to the heart, sink down. We're gonna do the twist one more time. So hinge forward, turn to the right. Hooking my elbow. Press the palms together, rotate that chest open, pull the belly button toward the spine. Inhale back to center, reach up, straighten up. Exhale, sink back down. Grow tall, reach that head forward, and then twist to the left. Pressing the palms together again. Tuck in that tailbone. Inhale back to center, reach it high. Sink it low. Lean forward, left leg steps back. This time, if you want to, you can come back down up to your knee like we did before, or if you'd like, you can stay up in your high crescent. So come up on the ball of that back toe. Hands can come down to the mat. Lift the chest, and then straighten that front leg, or straight-ish. Inhale, rock forward, lift the chest. Exhale, bring the hips up, straighten the leg. One more time, lift the chest, exhale, straighten the leg. Come back to that crescent lunge, so sink into the front knee, arms reach high. Cactus the arms, squeeze the elbows down, shoulder blades come toward one another. Inhale, reach high. This time, left hand comes down to that back leg. Right arm reaches up, look up. So this is kind of a balance challenge. Fingertips reach high. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Left foot steps forward. Right foot steps back. Again, option to lower the knee down or lift the chest, rock forward. 
Being high on the ball, that back foot, straighten through that back leg. And then straighten the front leg, hips come up, head goes down. Inhale, rock forward, lift the chest. Exhale, hips high, head down. Inhale, rock it forward. Exhale, straighten out the leg. One more time, rock forward. Head comes to the knee. This time, bend into that front knee again. And then once you have your balance, rise up. If you're having trouble with your balance, just widen your stance so like you're on opposite train tracks with your, with your feet. Arms reach high. The, that back knee is lifting toward the ceiling. Cactus the arms, look up. Inhale, arms reach high. Right hand comes down to touch that back leg. Left arm reaches up. So really lift the fingertips high. Sink into that front knee. Cartwheel the hands around. Frame your foot. Step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise high. Hands come to the heart. All right, let's blink our eyes closed here. Just take a few breaths. Catch your breath, slow, slow that beating heart. One more big breath in all together. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands on the mat. Step back, either to high plank or tabletop. Shift forward. Lower down all the way or halfway. Rock the chest forward to cobra or up dog. Pull those hips up and back down dog. Take a breath here. Big inhale. Empty, let it go. Right leg lifts high to the sky. Bring your knee towards your nose. Lift it high again. Bring your knee towards your nose. Look between your, your hands and then set your foot there. You might need to help it through, that's all right. And then dial that back foot down at about a 45 degree angle. And then rise up, reach tall, warrior one. So sink down in the hips. Inhale. Look up, open the arms up, coming into warrior two. So in warrior one, your hips are facing forward. In warrior two, your hip points are facing sideways. So sink into that front knee, and then we're gonna reach up, straighten through that front leg, and then exhale, sink back down. Inhale, reach high, exhale, lower. One more time, reach it up. Melt it down. Flip that front palm, reach forward. Reverse your warrior. So your left hand can come down your leg or it can kind of hook around your back. Fingertips reach up and back. Big breath here. Hands come back to warrior two. Straighten through that front leg. And then you're gonna send your hips back reach forward and then right hand comes down toward the mat left arm reaches up this is triangle pose so you really want to feel that stretch through both sides of your body fingertips reaching away from each other kind of lean back on yourself shoulder blades are pinching toward one another inhale rise up hands come to your hips that back foot is gonna step in about halfway, all 10 toes facing forward. Feet are on opposite or parallel train tracks here. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, fold and hands can come toward the mat. Just let your head hang heavy. You should feel a really strong stretch all up and down that front leg. If you need to, you can put a little bend into the front knee as well. But just enjoy that stretch, that sensation. Take a few breaths here. So 
Start to bend into that front knee. Walk your hands out in front of you a little bit. And then we're gonna lift that back leg up toward the ceiling. So maybe it just comes off a little bit. Maybe you can get it up a higher. Just yoga is different for everyone. So you just do what feels good in your body. No pain. No one can see you, no judgment. All right, left leg lifts a little higher. Bring it down to the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise high, reach high. Right hand comes down to your side. Left arm reaches up and over. Nice side bend here. So press into the left foot. Left arm reaches toward the right side. Inhale, back to center, reach high. Exhale, left hand comes down, right hand reaches up and over, pressing into that right foot. Reach high with both hands. Bring your palms to your low back, press your hips forward, kind of lean back on yourself, open the chest up toward the ceiling. Pull those elbows toward one another. And then straighten up, reach up high. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to your high plank or tabletop. Shift forward. Lower down. Up dog or cobra. And then hips come high. Down dog. Fill up here. Empty out. Left leg reaches high to the sky. Knee to nose. Squeeze it in. Inhale, extend it long. Exhale, knee to nose. Look between your hands. Place your foot there. Dial that back foot down about 45 degree angle. Bend into that front knee. Rise up. So hip points facing forward. Pressing into the outer edge of your back foot. Inhale, look up. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. That back foot becomes parallel with the short end of your mat. Gaze forward, sinking into that front knee. Inhale, reach high, straighten through the front leg. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink. Flip the front palm, reach forward. Reverse your warrior. Again, option with that back arm. It can reach down your leg or it can hook around your back. Inhale, back through center, arms reach long. Straighten through that front leg, hip, shift back. Reach forward and down, triangle pose. So gaze can be up at those top fingertips, or you can gaze down at your foot, whatever feels good in your body and your neck. Kind of lean back on yourself, open the chest. Inhale, rise up, bend into that front knee. Hands come to your hips. Step the back foot forward about halfway. All ten toes face forward. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, fold down. Again, you can have a bend in that front knee if that feels better. Let that head hang heavy. Maybe you shake out any thoughts that aren't serving you. Let them go. And then bend into the front knee, hands walk out in front of you. Lift that back leg high, standing split. And this doesn't have to look pretty. I'm sure it doesn't look pretty on me. Just do whatever feels good in your body. All right, one more inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, bring that foot down to the mat. Lift halfway. Fold and let it hang. Maybe you flip your palms face up and stick them underneath your feet if that's available. You can have a generous, like a deep bend in your knees. And so your feet kind of hit that crease in your wrist. You can even massage it out by kind of gently pressing down with your feet. Let your head hang, shoulders are relaxed. And if you've got your palms under your feet, go ahead and release them. Press into those feet. 
Reach up, rise up high. All right, from here, we're gonna reach up, rise up onto our toes. This is a little tricky, a little balancing, balancing move here. And then we're gonna slowly just sink your hips down. So lower them down, maybe pause as you inhale. Exhale, sink them down. Pause for the inhale. Exhale, lower. One more time, pause. Exhale, lower down. So this is a toe stand here. You can bring your hands to heart center. Squeezing those legs together. You might be a little wobbly, you might fall over, that's all right. So just hold here for another minute. Not really a minute, another two breaths. So inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Bring your knees back underneath you, coming into a tabletop. Drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, curl the tailbone, press the mat away, chin comes towards your chest. Inhale, lift the gaze, drop the belly. Exhale, tuck it under, press the mat away. We'll do one more, just open through the chest. Exhale, curl it all in. Come to a neutral spine and then just rise up onto your knees. You can tuck your toes under here. So we're going to come into a camel pose, which can be a little tricky, uh, but we're going to just do it half at a time. So you'll be all right. Just do what you can, no pain. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back, pressing into your low back hip, shift forward, kind of open up through the chest like we did when we were standing. Squeeze those elbows together, shoulders are relaxed. And then we'll start with the left side. So you can stay here if this is enough for you, if this feels good and, and you uh, want to stay here, this is perfectly a great stretch. If you want to try a little more, you can bring your left hand down toward your heel and lean back on yourself. So maybe your palm comes down to your heel, maybe your right arm reaches up, maybe your head kind of falls back. Just go to where it feels good, no pain, if it starts to hurt back out. Protect that low back, so tighten up through the core, reach those fingertips high. All right, and then slowly rise back up, reach up. We'll bring our arms down to our sides. Just roll the shoulders up, back and down. Up, back and down. Maybe rock the head from side to side, chin to the chest. All right, and then we'll set up for the other side. So bring your head upright. Right arm starts to reach back towards your heel. Left hand reaches high. Maybe your head falls back and open, opening up through the throat. Just one more breath here. All right, and then rise up, both arms reach high. Bring your hands down to the mat. Untuck the toes. Sink the hips back, child's pose. So bring your forehead down to the mat. Nice stretch through the low back. Kind of a good counter stretch to what we just did. You can rock your head side to side. And just enjoy this feeling, this nice, safe, comfortable pose. Maybe walk your right hand over to the right corner of the mat, left hand comes on top, gaze under your left armpit. Nice side body stretch here. Then come back through center, go the opposite direction. So left hand to left corner, right hand on top of the left. Gazing under that right elbow or right armpit. All right, come back to center. Walk your hands towards your knees. Just come over to your bottom. Extend or bring your knees, your feet to the mat, knees up. And just lower yourself slowly all the way down to the mat. 
Arms reach up overhead, full body stretch. All right, we've got one more hard move before we get to start to relax. So thought we should do a little ab work today. So bring that right leg up to the sky and then cross it over so that your right ankle is resting just above your left knee. Flex through both feet. Your hands are down at your sides, anchoring yourself down. And then on your next inhale, just start to lift your leg up toward the sky. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, lower. Trying to keep that knee pushed open, flexing through the feet. Just lift and lower. Lift and lower. Don't forget to breathe. So lift on the inhale, lower on the exhale. We'll do four more. Four, three, two, one. This time, hold it up there. If you've got it in you, you can do it. Bring your left hand behind your head, right fingertips. Reach up toward that foot and pulse it for five, four, three, two, one. Lower it all down. Feet come to the mat. Rock your knees from side to side. All right, and then we got to do the other side. You got this. After this, it's smooth sailing, I promise. All right, go ahead and extend your right leg out long, left feet, foot reaches toward the ceiling. Bend your knee, bring that ankle to just above your right knee. Flex through those feet, hands are anchored down. And then lift it all up, lower it down. Lift it up, lower it down. All right, use that core. You've got this, we can do this. All right, we've got four more, so four, three, don't forget the breath, two, one, hold it up there, right hand comes behind your head, left arm reaches high for five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, feet come to the mat, rock them side to side. That feels good, right? All right, now I promise the hard work's over. So just bring the feet to the mat, hands come down at your sides, inhale, lift the hips, squeezing through the glutes, lower it down. Inhale, lift it up, exhale, lower. We'll do two more, so bring it up, drop it down. Last time, press, squeeze, Bring it down. All right, legs reach out long. Let's get another full body stretch in. This feels so good. Right knee comes in towards the chest. Squeeze it in. We're just kind of going to finish off how we started. So pass that knee off to your left hand. Bring it across your body. Right arm extends out long. Feeling that nice twist. Noticing how maybe you can get a little deeper now than you did at the beginning of practice. Just breathing, winding down, relaxing a little more with each exhale. All right, bring that knee back into your chest, rotate the ankle around in both directions, and then send it long. Left knee comes into the chest, squeeze it in. Pass it off to the right hand, bring it across your body, twist. Just breathing here, letting it all go, feeling relaxed. Feeling alive. Hopefully you feel invigorated after that workout you just got. Bring that knee back into your chest, squeeze it in, rotate the ankle in both directions. All 
All right, bring both knees into the chest. Glue them together and then bring your heels up toward the sky. You can make a kind of like a diamond or triangle shape here with your finger, your hands, and bring them underneath your tailbone if you'd like. Kind of feels good, a little extra support. If you do have a yoga block, you can always bring that block underneath your tailbone as well. But just push those heels toward the ceiling. You can also have your hands behind your thighs, just giving yourself a little support. Maybe point and flex, point and flex. And then bring those knees into the chest. Open up the knees, grab the outer edges of your feet, bring those knees in towards your armpits, pulling your feet down. Bottoms of your feet are parallel or parallel-ish to the ceiling. Uncurl that tailbone so as much of it is in contact with the mat as possible. Maybe you get a little rocking from side to side. Maybe you straighten one leg out. And then do the other side, straighten it out. Come back to center. Bring those knees together. Wrap your arms around them, hug them in tight. Pretend like you're giving that hug to that person you were thinking about at the beginning, the person you're sending your love to. Squeeze them in nice and tight. Bring that nose towards your knees. Squeeze it in. Exhale. Let it all go, relaxing into the mat. Starting at your toes, just letting all the tension go in your body, feeling the support of the mat underneath you. Just imagine sinking in, maybe floating away on your mat. Just relaxing. Letting it all go. I'll give you a few minutes for your final resting pose. I'll bring you back soon. Enjoy your Shavasana. Start to bring your awareness back to the room, back to your mat, back to your body and your breath. You can begin by wiggling fingers and toes, rocking your head side to side. Reaching overhead for the biggest stretch you've had all day. And then bringing those knees 
in towards your chest, rolling over to your favorite side, pausing there for a moment. Just relax on your side, thinking about the people in your life you want to send your love out to. I tend to do that exercise every night at bedtime, kind of thinking about the people in my life that need a little extra hug or maybe people I haven't seen in a while that live further away or just people um, that I care about. So maybe something you can add to your daily, uh, daily routine. I wanted to share this quote by Jimi Hendrix. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Go ahead and make your way up to a seated position, eyes closed, hands down at your sides or on your knees, palms face up. As we inhale all together, gathering up that good energy, reaching high, feel that love, bring it down to your heart center. I thank you so much for practicing with me today. It's so good to get our bodies moving, and I appreciate that you're tuning in to me. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. Please let me know your comments, questions, concerns, if there's anything special you'd like to see in the future. I hope that you all have a great day. Namaste.